Floss Tube. Thank you for joining me. It's Lisa here from the Shady Tree Stitches and welcome to my normal weekly summary of my cross stitching hobby. If you're a regular viewer, I appreciate you coming back and if you're new, sit back, relax and see what whips I've been working on this week. It's currently Sunday the 18th of October 2020, so we're halfway through the month and I have been busy ticking off all my challenges. For those who don't know me, I am a very challenge driven person. I like to get the work done, I like to tick it off and knock it all over. And I'm really excited to have made some great progress this week on different things. So as usual, I will get straight into it and show you what we have. Um, my record keeping's a little bit weird from last Sunday after I filmed. I'm not sure what I stitched on. Whoops, sorry, knocking the cable. Um, I'm really not sure what I, what I stitched on last Sunday. According to my calendar, I did 51 stitches. That doesn't seem right on a Sunday, but it was the end of the, um, the sort of stitching spell scrimmage thing with Crystal Academy, so maybe I was having a rest. I don't, I doubt it. I would have done something. So all these numbers are minus that. All right, so we did, I think I might have just found what it was actually. Um, pretty sure I did some stitches on Do Re Mi. Do Re Mi, I had to do 200 stitches for a cup or a drink. So I'm guessing that might be the one that I haven't recorded. And that would sound like what I would have done. This is progressing really well and definitely will be getting a finish this year. So I was working on Do and Ray. But if I hold it back, I don't know how much you can see because I can't see. There you go. There's the whole thing. So it's looking really good. Really happy with how it's turning out. So I know I did a fair few stitches on it. Um, some last week and some more this week. Pretty sure I got all of that done. Anyway, I'll have a look at my numbers after the video. Sorry about that. Great start. Okay, so that's my Do Re Mi. I also did work on Raspberry Homecoming. And this was one because it had fruit in it. Um, candied apples, 150 stitches I had to get done on this one and I duplicated it for something else um, and I did 300 stitches so all in the barn so it's progressing nicely I really want to try and knock this one over because I've got others I want to get started and I don't like having too many I do really love these told in the garden patterns um, they're gorgeous and there's so many out there that I've never seen so um, I'm always on the lookout for them so that was my 300 stitches on the Raspberry Homecoming. Now I did do work on Farmhouse Christmas and this one is called Horsing Around. I chose this one because it needed to have pine trees in it. Um, and I also did worked on this to be my middle whip for magical stitches. So this is, I'm not doing this as one whip. It's just I'm stitching it all on one fabric so I know they're out of alignment and this bit here is where I was working. So there's 300 stitches on that and you can see I've only got two and a half to go and the whole lot. In hindsight I probably should have just done it as one whip but I wanted originally wanted to chop them up and make them into a big patchwork Christmas wall hanging. So there's every chance that could get finished by the end of the year too. I'm very keen to participate in the Finish the Stitch December. Um, so December will be about knocking over all the whips that I think are pretty close to being finished. And that's just the thing that um, we're running through virtual stitches so anyone can join in. Autumn Nation was a new start. Little Lizzie Kate Boxer. And I did just over 400 stitches on that one. Had to do 250 because it was a, a vegetable. Um, pumpkin is a vegetable in Australia. And also, here we go, that's where we are. And also it had leaves in it, had to do 50 stitches. It was also my newest whip, so I had to get the 400 done for magical stitches. So that's 401 stitches there. 
So people who say 200 stitches for no new starts is a lot, really. I mean, that is a decent start. I also did some work on strawberry fields, which I know has got strawberries and I could have used for fruit. Um, but I did that, the work on this one, 305 stitches, which just brings it down to working on the house. I actually just filled in the windows, so nothing too fancy. And I did that because it actually has got ravens or crows in it, not in the bit I stitched in, obviously. So that's where I got up to with that whip. It's nice to be able to just touch different things. I, I really like having the variety. Um, I, I really stitched so much more since finding all these challenges. Last night, I did some work on the nativity. And that was to finish off my semi-sane. Um, my semi-sane around the world, I had to stitch a thousand something to do with Middle East and I'd worked on my fairy tale, Once Upon a Fairy Pal. Something with small animals, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, something with a camel or a ship. I did my Surfside Cottage a few weeks ago. Something pertaining to faiths, and that's this one. And something with five sunset colours as mountain and cabin. So I added another 200 to finish off the thousand. Really think it looks cool on this piece of funky dyed fabric that I did. So that's where I'm up to with that one. So yeah, that one should be able to get finished this year too. Such a simple, easy stitch. Right, the next one I spent the second most time on was this cat. This is called Simply Sweet. I call him Ginger Cat. And he is one of my oldest whips, if you remember from the planning video. And I... Got him to look like that. He has almost got a head now and a bit of bit of um, the yarn. So he actually did about 500 stitches because he was my oldest whip, so I had to get 400 done. And he was something. Oh yeah, I did I did a Catwoman costume for um, Daily 30 for someone. So yeah, so that's my oldest whip. He definitely will be getting finished this year. Get him out of the way. I got plenty of other old whips to work on. And then we come to the piece that I worked the most on in the last few days. And I'm really, really getting into to this style of stitching. I, I never thought I would. And it is my um, Amazing Animal Kingdom bookshelf. So previously I had done this part of the shelf. And you can see I've actually completed that first page. But then I thought I'm going to go down. So I work down here and there's a thousand stitches there. And what I'm doing with this one is like you can see, I'm starting now to do a big chunk color completion because I really want to do my, my full coverages in different ways so I can work out what I like. So this one, I'm going to basically do a big scaffold of big chunks of color and just work my way across with big colors. And I'm working my way down so that I've got all four shelves on the go, just for, you know, variety, giving me something good to work on. So yeah, you can see it's a, quite a large whip, this one. So yeah, so that's my, my amazing animal kingdom. So all up, minus the do re mi that I haven't counted, um, 3,135 stitches since last Sunday, um, which is not too bad at all. Yeah, not my best week, but not my worst. I did work a bit. Uh, two days this week and I had lots of work to do at home um, so next I got a bit of haul a little bit of haul not a lot I got a pattern that I bought off a stash unload of another one of the Tolden Gardens isn't that cute hadn't seen that one before so I have that one I got my beautiful silks from silks for you um, these ones are show them up these are the September sort of the month so um, that took a while these are all in beautiful shades of gold so they go from a very pale through to darker 
beautiful rich golden silks. Really find these good value. $25 um, gets you the five 10 meter skeins for this. These are all specially dyed for the color of the month. So that's the five of them together. Aren't they just so luscious? Absolutely beautiful. Girls do a great job at Silks For You and I like to support Australian people as much as possible because why not? We have a lot to offer. And my other bit of haul is my fabric of the month from Crafty Lini. And um, it, it's to die for. She really does an awesome job. Um, I thoroughly recommend her fabrics. And I know that sounds funny since I'm a fabric dyer, but I really do thoroughly recommend her fabrics. I'm just going to get this pin off it. There we go. Okay, this is called Flamindigo. Flamindigo, I think. Isn't that just stunning? And colours are a little bit more, I don't know if you can see, blues and purples. Really, really beautiful. So kudos to, to Crafty Lini for her wonderful fabric of the month. And I really enjoy getting it, which I know I sound stunning when I do my own, but yeah, she does such a beautiful job. Why not support another Australian? Okay, that was my haul. So just a little bit of haul, but exciting to get a little bit. Um, and then I did also get, no point showing you, but I did get my order from JK's, which had the pre-gridded fabric so I can start Oh, two more hades now. There's the usually on. Um, two more hades. So they will be getting started. I mean, we're halfway through October. I haven't got long to go, and I've still got quite a few pieces I want to get ready for next year. All right, so that's the end of my normal stitching. Just want to do a little bit of new start, no new starts news, and then some Paddock Lane Designs news. Okay, so we have done a video now, and you will have seen that come up on this channel of the No New Starts, how to put your album together. It's essential if you're doing No New Starts, the competition, you have to do your album. You have to put all the photos in of the where your whip is up to and then add your progress as you go. You don't have to do it daily, but there's three times a year that we want to see progress to see that you're actually doing stitching because it's very easy to win a challenge about not doing any new starts if you're not doing any stitching at all, isn't it? So we've thought about that one too. We've put a lot of thought into it and we've got some really fun things planned. So for all of you who are interested in trying to work on your whips next year, pop across to No New Starts 2021 and join up. Um, everyone can participate and if you want to, we appreciate donations of, of, of um, stitching goods or money that we can use for raffle prizes um, so that we can reward and motivate people through the year. Okay, Paddock Lane Designs has had a very big week. And I, I mentioned this last week and I decided this week I will do it. So I'm actually going to show you now the new fabrics I dyed last week. Um, these are going up onto the Paddock Lane Designs group Facebook page. And they are going to be on there for a week or two exclusively for my loyal group members in case they want any of them before they go onto Etsy. Everything else is on Etsy or is on its way to Etsy. So if you want any of my other fabrics, jump onto the Paddock Lane Designs Etsy fabric um, site. You also can find on the Facebook group or page and the Etsy site, all the designs I've done. And I have a new design to show you soon. So very excited about that. Okay, so these ones are all, um, they started off being like to be fat quarters, eight, and this is a 14 count Ada. So sunshine. And you'll see it's got some pink dots in it, some pink flowers. So we have a, a piece of Sunshine 14 Count Ada. We have a piece of Summer Sky 14 Count Ada. Blues with a slight tinge of purple in it. And then we have Stormy Sky 14 Count Ada. And we have pale summer sky. Again, a couple of red dots in it. Beautiful, really slight modeling. Really like that one. And I did a bunch of 14 count aiders because some people have been asking for them. So 
there's more to come. Um, I am expecting a delivery of the 16 count. I thought I had 16 count, turned out it was it was 18. Um, but 16 count Ada and 32 count even we coming this week, so I'll be doing some more dyeing. There we go. I haven't named that one yet, but beautiful purples and greys. Another bright sunshine one. Some little greys and one of those red spots. Red spots seem to like coming into every fabric. Okay, then we go to the 18 count Adas. So we've got a summer sky. Oh, we're opening up. 18 count of the sunshine. We've got a beautiful autumn color one. We've got another bright sky one. Then we go to the 28 count um, even weave Murano. And again, fat quarter size. We've got the summer sky. So you can see the size of them. We've got a sunshine of that. Another summer sky. And another. This one's a smaller piece. So just what was left, little summer sky. So that is the new ones that I've got. Um, obviously blues and yellows pretty much in this, this dye lot. Um, that was because I was doing some dyeing for, for myself and some custom orders. So they will be going up onto the site soon. All right. I also this week started participating in Supernatural Stitches really 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 thoroughly enjoyed that too um sorry so yeah so my my plans are to keep doing um all the challenges now my new design um there's a new craze out and my kids are nuts about it and so are some of my friends called among us it's a computer game and i've been trying to get my son into stitching so i have actually designed a fantastic cute little pattern for among us using the characters and i'm going to do a couple of them in different um, styles. So the first one I've got, which I will show you here, is Halloween themed. Isn't it cute? So it's got a couple of little characters and then you know the, the little guy on the side saying it wasn't me. So um, those who play Among Us would understand what that means. So I am going to get on to doing a Christmas themed one um, in the next couple of days and then maybe one with just the normal hats on it. So there's going to be a series of, of three or four of them. Um, they're a nice little size and they're all full cross stitches. So a really nice, simple, quick stitch. So if anyone's interested in them, pop across to my Etsy um, site or my Facebook group and you can grab a copy of that. Um, same as usual. If you have a special request, just message me and I'll see what I can do. All right. Thank you so much for watching, really appreciate it. Um, I hope you have a great week of stitching. I'm planning to, my husband's going away for a day so I should be able to get a bit done. Um, but I do have two days work so, um, and then he's having a foot operation so I might be running around after him a bit more than usual. All right, thanks for joining me and I will speak to you next week, bye.